This piece, titled Shaman, is the first diptych that I have done to date. It's tied together, jumping between two canvases by the contrast of brilliant greens, pinks, and purples of the northern lights against a dark muted blue. The two canvases are 8 by 6 inches. For four years, I worked in Norman Wells, Northwest Territories, and now work remotely since March 2020. I've been very inspired by the North. It has a special vibe to it. So this is the start of a series that simply explores what interests me about it. I came across a story by Rachel A. Quitsulik called Quitsulik Shapeshifter and Inuit Tale. And this is my interpretation of a scene from it. To quote her, ever since humans have admired animal traits, we have been trying to acquire them. To paraphrase, this story is about two Inuit shaman from different areas who could never seem to get along. And whenever they would meet up, they would just end up boasting about their powers while people in the camp listened. On this day, with honor at stake, a fight broke out. But this was no ordinary fight, as both shaman had the ability to take on their personal animal's form. One shaman took the form of a white bear with giant claws, while the other became the form of his personal animal, the muskox, with massive pointed horns. It was a ferocious battle. The onlookers were in awe as the bear danced around, as the muskox repeatedly thrust his horns at the bear with all his might. In the end, in a moment of poor offensive tactic, the great white bear tried to bite down on the muskox's neck. He was stabbed by the deadly horns of his nemesis. As he lay dying, the shaman turned back into a human form. The other shaman was quite unnerved by the battle and never turned into his animal ally again. There are multiple messages to this story, one of them being, and to quote Rachel again, perhaps in this sense, the old tales of shape-shifting may serve as an allegory towards Inuit needs. In a sort of irony, the land forces on all life. Inuit must ever change in order to remain what they are.